So if we drop that there and get started, we need to put the subframe in. So the subframe is a size 10. We should get that straight in. Oh, didn't want to do that. We've already got the size 10, so easy good. Four bolts. Get them done up. There's one just there, that's it. One, two, and same again this side. Three. Four. Now if Atari called me, our wheels are done. So we can go and collect them once we've got everything done here. And then we want to do the wishbones. So we get them on there. That's it. Don't worry about the loud bangs. It's not really going to do any damage to your car. And the wishbones are a size 10 and all. So easy peasy. Get them done up. Two bolts each. Now, you're probably going to work through the night. Well, you won't because you've got to sleep and get your fatigue down. But I've turned all that off just so we can get the tutorial done nice and easy. But yeah. And then we go pick our stuff up first thing in the morning. Once we've done our wishbone, we want our spindles. So get them on. The spindles are a size 12. Uh, 13, 12, there we go. And it's like a really weird bolt somewhere on the side. There it is. Stop disappearing. There we go, done up. Then same again this side. There we go. Then you want to put the brakes on. The brake discs, rather. So one. Two, and then you want to put your half shafts on. There we go. In there. And then this one. In there. And the half shafts are size 14. So if you get that done. 13, 14. Then you could do that bolt up. If you do this bolt up now, before putting the half shafts on, you won't get the half shafts on because they won't stay. The half shafts are a 14 and then a 10. If you get them done up and all, again, you won't have to do it later on. So if we get that, when you put the engine in, because, you know, you could end up forgetting. And then you wonder why you're not going anywhere. Or they just disconnect and don't work. We pick up the right one. Oh, there's size nine. Idiot. My bad. Alright, so get them done up. So six bolts of that. Right, then we do our struts. You want to put these on. Both of them at the same time. Well, not the same time, but as quickly as possible. Otherwise, it's just going to bounce like mad. And it's annoying when you're trying to do the bolts up because it's just constantly moving. Alright, so the struts are a size 9 and a size 10. So we've already got the size 9. So we can do them up now. Four bolts at the bottom. Then with the size 10, is three bolts at the top. Yeah, so one, two, three. Come on. One, two, three, four. There we go. Same again this side. One, two, three, four. Let me just find it. There we go. Then go and grab the number 10. And get the top ones done. Three bolts each. Oh, like I said, you know, I'll do this. I'll do this um, tutorial. I want to guarantee you there'll be an update next week, adding something else. But I will try my best to keep on top of everything. You know, if anything's changed and all that, then yeah. 
Then we want to put the steering rack in. Let's find out where it goes. There we go. We shut it. There we go. And the steering rack is a size 9. So grab that. I believe it's 4 bolts. Let's get that. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you can put your steering rods in. Get them both done. Away. Turn it around. So there we go. Perfect. And the steering rods are a size 12. There we go. And get them both done up. And then I believe that will be for the front done and complete. We can probably put the steering rack in. So, where does it go? That way. So, you want to pick it up, rotate it a bit. There we go. And the steering column is a size 8. So, we just grab that. There we go. Then, headbutt in there. I think it's two bolts. One, two. Right, now we can make our way to the back of the car. Bring this with us. So if we put this trail arm in. One. Two. The trail arm is a size 12. Yeah, two bolts. One, two, then one, two, and then you want to put your coil springs in and shock absorbers. So one, two, and do the same on the other side. One. Come on. We'll get there in a minute. There we go. Two. Then the shock absorbers are a size six and a size twelve. So if we get the six, where are you? There you are. Two at the bottom, one at the top, which is a twelve. Come on, there we go. So one, two, then one, two. Then we grab the 12 and it's just there, see it? One on each side, 13, 12. And it's an easy way to do this, you can just follow it up. And then there you go, perfect. Then same again, follow it up. There you go. So, and then we put the brakes on. And I believe there are 14 as well. Yep. Perfect. Now, we can start putting the body together, but first. We want to get all the bits and bobs that go in the engine bay and stuff. So like the clutch master cylinder, the brake master cylinder, then all the lining. So get that in there. Get these two done first. There we go. And they are... Clutch master cylinder, size 8 and a size 9. So we grab our old ratchet set. Size 8. I don't know if that's on the inside. No, nope, so it'd be on the outside. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then the size 9 will be on the inside, which is on the pedals. 
Yep, there we go. Right, now we do our lining. We do... Actually, what else? We do the radiator and that. Because the lining will be better if we do it once we're on wheels. Because you've got to make sure you get all 12 bolts. So if we put a radiator in, which is a size 7. There we go. Get that done. So that's seven. Then just crouch in. There we go. Four bolts. Should be able to get an idea where they are. There we go. There's one. Then that one there. Right, then we can do the gear stick and the brake handle which is just there what else we got on all yeah this has got to go so we get that out there we go oh. drop it there we go then get the uh, brake handle Need to get it. There we go. Handbrake. And just put that in there. And grab this. Go inside the car. I don't think there's. Is this a seven? This is six out in it. Yep, there we go. So that's. If we zoom in, be easier. There's three bolts there. And then we want the size eight, I think, for the handbrake, is it? Yep. There we go. And then we'll start putting our dashboard and that together. We did do them all up, didn't we? Yep, perfect. Right. So what I'm gonna do quick is start this car up and put the lights on. Because it's starting to get dark out here now. So if I quickly move this. And I'll see you at the dashboard. Right. So now. I um, just went and picked the wheels up. So we're all good to go. And I changed the time of day. So it's night. So it's daytime again. But now we can get our dashboard in. So just move that there. In fact let's quickly put this on here. So we don't forget. There we go. Right. Let me put that in. Then we want to rotate that, and where is that? I believe it's a size, it's city size, it's the size you would think it would be. So if we grab this quick, and open that, tool mode, is it a size 8? No, size 7. Yeah, there we go. So we get that done up. Then we're good to go. So if we grab our dashboard, we can put that in the car, get that done up. There we go. Grab our toolkit again, our ratchet set. In fact, we might as well grab them both. We put that there. And grab this, so we can start getting the body put together. Right, so, undo that. They're a size 10, is it? Yep. And then grab our display. And that is a size six or a seven. One of the two. Six, there we go. And it's close that, that's good to go. Then we can put our we won't put our C D player in yet because we can see what we're wiring up then. So what else? We'll do the seats. 
So if you grab the back seat. Then we can put that, tighten them up. That's a size nine. There we go. And if we quickly pick our ratchet set up and put it on the back seat. Get out of the car, get our passenger and driver's seat in there. So it's passenger, so if we put that in. Easy. Get them done up. Four bolts on the seats. Oh, there's the part. There you are. Hard to find when you can't see what you're doing. That's it. That one. And then that one. Lovely jubbly. Then go and grab the driver's seat. Grab it from this side. Put that in, then same again. What are you doing, man? Come on. One. Two, three, four. Lovely. And then we grab our steering wheel. And that's a size ten. Lovely. And then we we'll put the boot on the back. We we'll start from the back and work our way forward. Lovely. So the boot is a size six. So we open that. And grab that. Easy. Lovely, then go to the back. And there's four bolts. One, two, three, four. And then we want to do the doors. Right, we grab the doors then. I'll put the radio on just to kill out some of that silence. So we got. This one, so put that on, then open it, and it falls off, and then it spazzes out, piece of crap. Right, right you're taking a mick now, got no reason not to bloody go on. Are you serious? Alright, well, we'll do the other side. <sighs> so you have to put the doors on before you put the fenders on, otherwise, you just have problems. Alright, so if we do this side. There we go. Things size 10. We'll pretty grab that. Yeah, where is it? Size 10, there we go. And do them up. One, two, three, four. And then if we go and try and put the other side on again. Alright, uh, well then we come back to that. In fact, what I'll do is, is I'll quickly save and restart. Right, I restarted the game. If that happens to you, if something pops off and doesn't want to go on, just restart the game. It does it quite a lot. 
Right. There we go. So don't open the door. Just go on the other side that you've bolted. And then size 10. Get a ratchet set. There we go. Might as well put it on the front seat. There we go. One, two, three, four. Right, and then we can do our fenders. Actually, before we do our fenders, let's get the wheels on the car. Because then we can uh, straighten them up. So we put that there, is it? No, nope. bring it back a bit. There we go. Pumped up all the way. Not all the way, but you know what I mean. So we just get the front wheels on. Keep going. Is that it? No, a bit more. Like that, do it. And wheel one. Wheel two. It, and then we can lower it before we do it up. Perfect. So we want to get a size 13. 13. And if we get the socket out now, because we ain't going to be inside the car much at the moment. We've already got it on there, so we go over there. Get these done up. One, two, three, four. Then repeat the process on the other side. One, two, three, four. And then we want to go and grab our spanner. If we go there. Right, yeah, 14. What you want to do is, is turn, say you was underneath the car, you want to turn it clockwise as far as it'll go. So... Yeah, that way until it stops going. There we go. Stop moving, right? Then you want to turn anti clockwise 60 clicks. Yeah? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. And then repeat the process on the other side. And then that's your wheel alignment done. And we can get on with the rest of the car. All right, so I'm gonna do this side and then I will see you when we put the back wheels on. All right, that's that done. So now we can put this on the back and get the back put up. Then we can roll it in and we can get the rest of the car put together and then get the wiring done and then we'll let the night pass and hopefully we can go and get our car inspected and yeah, you'll all pass. We'll all be up to date with our tutorials until next time and hopefully you will all be happy. Yeah, so just keep in mind when you start the game all your parts are randomly generated. You, I mean, you could even get parts that are completely broke and need replacing anyway. Yeah? So, like I said, if you're new to the game, you're not really a mechanic, you don't like, not car, smart, whatever. Get MSC Editor, load your game into it, and just check the Satsuma report, just so you can see what is wrong. And then, yeah, just also, when you replace a part at Fataris, 
you need to take the part out of the car. So like, undo it, take it off the engine. And then take it to Flutari's, otherwise it won't appear. You know, it's alright if it's a piston, because the piston will most probably disconnect itself and blow out of the engine bay anyway. So, yeah. Alright, but anyway, let's get back to the engine build. So we can put our fenders on now. So, one. Then, that is a size five. And it's five bolts in each. One. Five. And do the same for the other side. We put the hood on last and all. Because we got to put the engine in and all that. Oh crap, I've done it too many times. Turn it around, drop it. Pick it up. There we go, and just get the spanner out. And the top three. Perfect, right. Now we can roll her in and get the rest of the car done. We are nearing the end now. Not much more to go. Right, she should be lined up. Okay, let's push her over a bit. How's that? Right, that should be fine. Just push it in a bit. Where are you heading? You good? Yeah, she needs to push her over, get a center. That's it. And then over here. That's it. Right, so now we will do the fuel. The gas tank, fuel tank, and the fuel pipe. You get that in there, and then do this one. Right, let's get our tools out. Then let's do this up. I'm not sure what size it is. I think it's just 11. There we go, size 11. Get that done up, get underneath the car. And three bolts at the back. And then we gotta do this up. I'm not sure what size that is either. It's been such a long time. But you have to do it up with a spanner. So if we go 12. There we go, size 12 to get that done up. Otherwise you'll be having fuel leaks. And then I think we've got size seven. From our spanner, size five. Yep, there we go. Get that done up. That's your handbrake sorted. And now we do the exhaust pipe and exhaust system. So if we quickly get this rotated, come back, rotate it, perfect, and just get it lined up, and then we can pick it up. And that should go straight on. There we go. Size 7. So you've got two bolts down here. So do them up like now. And then again you won't have to do them up later on. And end up possibly forgetting. And then we've got the bracket. Which is there. That's it. And then we can go and get the exhaust pipe. Again, size seven. Get it in there, lovely. 
get that out. It's just there, we're probably too far away. There we go. Right, now we can get our fuel lining and clutch lining done. So, which is, what's this? Brake lining. There we go. That's what I meant brake lining and clutch lining. So, if we crouch down, get some distance on it, and then it should we should be able to do it from here. There we go. And then the clutch, which is... There it is. Wicked. Right, again, get some distance on it. Clutch line in. Right, and that's a size 7. All round, I think, is it? Yeah. So you got... Oh, no, we have to use a spanner. So I'll tell you what, we'll start from the back. So we got one that's behind this wheel, which is there, one. Then we got the other side. Two. We got over here. This one is somewhere. Then again on the other side. Four. Then get up. And then lean in. We got five. So another one there. Can't see it from there, we'll just do this one. Six. Then if we just move around here a little bit. I oh, obviously can't get it on in a minute. Seven. Eight. Nine. Why won't you let me do your work? So we get you from here then. There we go. Then we got the clutch. And there's another bolt just at the end here. that one there right so now we've got the clutch lining and that done we will get this in the fuel strainer no it's not the fuel strainer is it yeah the fuel strainer which goes somewhere along here there it is perfect right there that's a size 8 so if we could go and grab that Go size eight. Then if we just get up, go in. Where are you? One bolt, I believe it is. Just there. Double check that. Yep, one bolt in the middle. Perfect. And then we've got this, which is our gear. What's it called? Gear linkage. So if we get that, then we go underneath the car. Get it up like that and go back, get a distance and jump down. And that just goes somewhere there. The reason we do it like this is it just makes it easier to see what bolts are where before everything's in. Because once the engine's in, you can't see a thing. So there's three number fives at the front. So one, two, there's one more. Right up there. 
three. Perfect. So that's that in. What else? Got our RPM gauge in. Suppose we can put our mud flaps on and our lights. Don't put your front lights in yet because you can't do that one until you've wired them. You gotta do your wiring first and then you can put them on. Oh right, so if we get that in. There we go, then the back one. There we go, then one more. Right, what else is there? Can't do that until the engine's in. Right, back lights. Right, that's that. Right, if we get our gauges in. Which skill do you want to disable? Uh, right, we want. So we put that on there, go and grab our other one. Right, so now we've got that. We can spray paint the shelf. You can spray paint it whatever colour you want. So I want it black just to look like actually we'll have it grey this time. Always have it black. Let's have it grey. Can you spray it? I'm pretty sure you can spray it. Yeah, there we go. Looks much better. There go, and then just put that back. Put your subwoofers in. There we are. Then if we... We can do it this way. So if we turn... Pick it up, man. That's it, like that. And then you can just do this. There you go, and then we just chuck our amp in the back. In fact, we did our handbrake up, let's do it up. Stop the bloody thing from moving. That's it, shut the door. Get our amplifier in the back. Get some distance on it. That's it. There we go, and we get that done up. I'm not sure what size this is. Oh, perfect, size five. Just two bolts. There we go. We put the gauges in. Get unstuck from the floor. We move this burner barrel out of the way. That's it. You want everything that you're going to be wiring up in straight away. Otherwise, if you forget to undo your battery later and you wire it up, you a slight chance you get electrocuted and die. We'll put that in there. Then we've got our stereo, which we'll do last. So, let's get our engine in. Get it all lined up. How's that? A bit more. Perfect. Right, then you start lowering it until you see the three bolts appear. And then we can start our wiring and then we can get everything all finished off. And, right, how's that? Do we need to come back? Yep, we need to come back a bit. Let's bring it back. There we go. Let's lower it a bit more. 
Right, let's check, see if the bolts have appeared. Get in a bit. Yeah, there you go, three bolts. One, two, three. So if we grab a spanner, it's a number 11. We want. So we crouch down. Where are we? Number 12, number 11. Perfect. Might as well start from this side. Just lean in there. There we go. And it's all connected. Then that one over there. And the one on the other side. Can we reach it? Yep, perfect. Lovely. And then we want a number 10. So we can disconnect the hoist. See it get lined up. Let's see if we find the bolts. There we go. So if we just undo that one. Then the one over on the other side. There we go. And just lift this up a bit. Don't want to damage the engine or anything. That's it. Then you should be able to just move it. There we go. So get that out of the way. Right. I'm going to quickly change the time back and then we will actually, before we do that, let's make, get the radiator hoses on. Then that is absolutely everything and all we got to do is to wire in and put the other bit of the hood on. So that goes... Come on, you just add it there. And then we got this bit. I'm going to get some... I want to get an angle like that and then we want to sort of there and then you've got one more bit this bit goes on the top and that's that done so I will change the time and then we will get on with the last of the wiring Alright, so I'll see you in a sec. 